Welcome to the Edge of AI podcast. Stick around for five minutes and get your dose of current events in today's Edge of AI Dispatch segment, powered by Metaverse Post. This is your source for the latest news in cutting edge tech and AI. Today, we dive into why OpenAI fired Sam Altman, AI healthcare startup Forward's $100 million fundraise, and Microsoft's new AI chip called Maya. In a decisive move, the board of directors at renowned AI company OpenAI announced the departure of CEO Sam Altman. The company blamed Sam Altman, highlighting concerns about his lack of consistent communications and ability to fulfill his responsibility. OpenAI said the departure comes after a thorough review process by the board who expressed a loss of confidence in Altman's capacity to continue leading OpenAI. Along with Sam, Greg Brockman announced himself stepping down as the chairman of the board. Founded in 2015, OpenAI previously restructured in 2019 to raise funding while aiming to maintain its mission of AI development, governance, and oversight. AI healthcare startup Forward announced it has successfully raised $100 million in a Series E funding round. According to the company, the funds will be used to develop and deploy care pods that use AI to screen and diagnose patient health conditions. The funding was led by blue chip venture funds, including Samsung Next, Abu Dhabi Investment Authority, and SoftBank. Forward described its flagship product, CarePods, as the world's first AI doctor's office. Developed by doctors from Harvard, Johns Hopkins, and Columbia, Forward's proprietary AI can detect diseases, including diabetes, hypertension, and mental health issues like depression and anxiety. Amazon Web Services recently announced the launch of Party Rock, a platform designed for individuals interested in exploring generative AI while creating engaging applications. According to AWS, users would be able to experiment with AI, learn prompt engineering, and build mini apps through the Party Rock platform. Users can do so without coding or setting up an AWS account. The platform also allows users to start with pre shared apps, providing a collaborative and creative environment. In a conversation with Metaverse Post, Mike Miller, Director of Product Management at AWS, said Party Rock utilizes available foundational models from Amazon Bedrock to power applications. Users can select any LLMs available in Amazon Bedrock, even those from Cohere and AI21 Labs. The company plans to introduce more models over time to expand the AI platform's capabilities. Google Photos introduced two new AI-powered features, photo stacks, and categorization of screenshots and documents. Google said the new AI features aim to ease the clutter that often plagues photo galleries, providing users with a more organized and efficient app. The photo stacks feature automatically identifies and groups similar photos, organizing them into stacks. Likewise, the second feature can categorize screenshots and documents using AI and identify and classify them into separate albums. With the integration of AI, Google Photos aims to position itself as a dynamic and useful tool for everyday life. After two years in stealth, 3D generative AI platform Atlas recently announced its official launch with a $6 million fundraise. Atlas's platform develops virtual world experiences for the gaming industry. The company said the new funds will be used to expand its self-service 3D AI creator platform. In a conversation with Metaverse Post, Ben James, CEO of Atlas, said the platform will help small, medium, and indie developers build high-quality worlds, assets, and experiences through generative AI technology. Atlas's current partners include virtual industry heavyweights such as Consortium 9, along with partners turned investor Shrapnel and gaming giant Square Enix. Saudi Arabia's Minister of Culture recently announced the establishment of an international center for artificial intelligence research and ethics in Riyadh during UNESCO's 42nd General Conference in Paris. The center will be committed to develop ethical practices for AI technologies and play a role in shaping tech policies for the Gulf region. Earlier this year, the Saudi Authority for Data and Artificial Intelligence published the AI Ethics Principles with the aim of supporting Saudi Arabia's effort to achieve its vision and national strategies in the adoption of AI technology. Saudi's new initiative seeks to enhance capabilities and legal framework for the realm of AI and other cutting edge technologies. Microsoft announced its AI chip Maya, a generative AI powered co-pilot and enhanced AI capabilities at its annual developer conference, Ignite in Seattle in the US. Microsoft announced its AI chip Maya, a generative AI powered co-pilot and enhanced AI capabilities at its annual developer conference, Ignite in Seattle US. 
According to Microsoft, it will use the newly designed chip to run large language models that power Microsoft's Azure OpenAI service, developed in collaboration with OpenAI. Microsoft also announced that its Bing Chat Enterprise, a product launched a mere two months prior to the current announcements, has now been renamed Copilot. The Maya AI chip aims to enhance AI computing tasks and business software offering. It will also include a $30 a month Copilot service. As the cost of delivering AI is becoming higher, the announcement of in-house chips will help the company provide cost-effective services to customers. Adobe launched Project Soundlift, an AI-powered technology that can separate video speech recognitions into distinct tracks of voices, non-speech sounds, and other background noise. According to Adobe, the AI will be highly useful for video creators who struggle with poor audio quality and deal with challenges such as wind interference, suboptimal microphones, crowd noise, and other audio worries. Developed by speech AI researchers at Adobe Research, the software company announced the new project on stage at Adobe Max in Japan as part of its Sneaks Showcase. That's it for the Edge of AI Dispatch today, your source for the latest news in cutting edge tech and artificial intelligence. This news segment has been powered by Metaverse Post. If you enjoyed today's dispatch, kindly subscribe, rate, and review us on the platform that you are hearing this. And if you want to dive deeper, check out the Edge of AI podcast featuring captivating conversations with top pioneers in the space. Also on Spotify, iTunes, and YouTube. We also invite you to visit edgeofai.xyz to learn more about us and get the direct links to follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram. Tune in next time for targeted coverage of the most compelling stories in markets, industry, and culture.